All right, what's going on guys? It's a, a beautiful Sunday evening. It's like 80 degrees, it's like, six, like 6.30. Incredibly nice weather. So we're gonna go out here for a nice little POV cruise. I uh, got some new tires finally on this thing. Actually, I'll turn that down so you don't have to hear that. I got some new tires on this thing, which is much needed. They're still, I think, technically in their break-in period. Break-in period, that's what uh, that's what they call them. I got some Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's and I got some 255's up front. They're uh, 255, 35, 19, and then a 295, 35, 19 in the rear. But I got those and apparently they need about like a week or so to really kind of wear that top layer off before they really start hooking. But we're just, we're gonna be going cruising. Don't got too much of a plan. It's a beautiful evening and I figured I might as well. And that's what you should be doing on a Sunday evening. You know, if you got a car, it's nice out. You should be just going out, cruising it. Still though, even with these new tires, still really wants to get away from me. And like really, it hasn't been that much of a difference so far than the Yokohamas I had. They were all seasons on here. That was what I had when I got the car, but yeah, that was, that was good for stock power. But obviously, when you push way past stock power, all seasons you can't really cut it. to go so fast is dangerous is dangerous like that dangerous to my driving record it's clean right now Especially if it's nice out. If it's hot as balls, then like maybe not. But if it isn't, shoot. Windows up is kind of like that's kind of criminal. Plus, you hear more of the car when the window's down. I was thinking, by the way, that um, if these, like I was saying, that if I don't get. Uh, you know, if I don't end up liking these pilot sports, they don't really end up catching. Probably gonna go for like some Mickey Thompsons. The other like popular alternative is um, our triple eight R's. But I don't really know if I want to go that down that road. The road noise on those is kind of ridiculous. Like I don't really hear much road noise in these things, and I don't think you would hear that much for the Mickey Thompsons. They got a, a buddy who's got them on his Mustang. But yeah, I just am not trying to be constantly hearing my tires like a lot. And also like being where I'm at in the Midwest, if it randomly for whatever reason decides to rain, and those are triple eight R's, you're just kind of like, you're toast. He ain't got, he ain't got no traction. Ooh, Subaru up ahead. Since this channel is brand new and I haven't really talked about it, unless you know me personally, um, I actually have a, an FRS and it's it's fully turboed and wide bodied and everything. So, I mean, that, that was my first car I really modified, did anything with, and it's basically been the second. God, I love that turbo sound. For anyone that's on the, on the verge of getting a Supra, highly recommend it. And if the hold up 
was that they don't have a manual. Well, 2023's got manuals now. I, I personally don't care, but I know I know some people that's that's more of a make or break to them. For me, it's not. I think this car is perfect with the, the transmission it has being automatic and automatic eight speed. Doesn't bother me at all. Oh, we're about to ride by on a biker. This is a nice little, nice little area. It's funny how fast, at least in Omaha or Nebraska, that you know you can immediately start seeing all this greenery and and stuff like that, as opposed to just nothing but you know buildings and businesses. No joke for that. see out and about that was probably a prime example of one of them that just passed I'm not sure if y'all could see that now, I am not gonna lie though it's I am kind of bad when it comes down to older car names and stuff like that we'll take a nice little right now Kind of go back more towards the, the city area.
was a nice little sketchy, sketchy bull. That's probably why I need new tires, newer than these ones. All right, we're gonna call it there. Thank y'all for coming through. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe.